and welcome to another video. Before we go over and create a character to play D&D, we need to go over some rules. Learning the rules will help the character creation process and will help to know the terms employed when creating your character. Although, before we go into the meat of things, if you do like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. The first term we are going to talk about is armor class, or AC for short. The AC is a number that dictates how hard you are to hit in combat. For example, if you have an AC of 15, then the enemy has to roll 15 or higher to be able to hit you. On the other hand, the attack bonus adds to your attack roll when you're trying to hit someone. In other words, making it easier to hit something. Health points, or HP for short, is the total amount of health your character has. Once you fall below zero, you fall unconscious. Once unconscious, you cannot make any attacks, cannot move, the only thing you can do is roll a death saving throw. For a death saving throw, you must roll a 1d20. Anything above 10 is what is called a save. Anything below 10 and you are one step closer to death. You must succeed or fail three times before you either stabilize and continue breathing or death if you fail. If you fall to lower than your maximum health below zero, example, you have 8 HP and fall to minus 8 HP in one round of combat, that is instant death. No saving throws will save you from this death. Hit dice are something you can use outside of combat when taking a short rest to heal up. You recover half your hit dice on a long rest. A short rest is approximately one hour of rest. A long rest is approximately eight hours of rest. There are many different types of actions you can do with combat, and they all follow the action economy. This term essentially means that all the potential things your character can do in a round of combat. In one round of combat, you get access to an action, a bonus action, movement, and an object interaction. There are many types of actions you can do on your turn, the most used action being the attack action. The attack actions allows you to swing your weapon of choice, fire an arrow, essentially any type of melee or ranged attack. When you are starting out, you can only use one attack using the attack action. Some classes, however, can learn the extra attack feature, enabling them to attack multiple times per turn. Spellcasters, on their end, are more than likely to cast a spell using their action. They have access to a wide variety of spells, which all use different types of actions in the action economy, although most will be using your regular action within your turn. The dash action allows you to move your double your speed. Your speed is how many feet per turn your character can move. Most races have a speed of 30. Dash would essentially double that to 60. The disengage action allows you to move away from enemies without having them take an attack out on you as you move out of their range. Very useful if you are low on health points. The dodge action means you focus entirely on avoiding the enemy attacks. This translates to them having disadvantage on hitting you and you have advantage on dexterity saving throws. When talking about advantage or disadvantage, this means that instead of only rolling 1d20 to see if you hit, you roll 2. On advantage, you take the higher of the two dice. On a disadvantage, you take the lower of the two. We have been talking about saving throws. There are seven types of saving throws. Death, Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. They represent different kind of actions that are thrown at your character. Strength, if you suddenly have to combat gravity magic, if someone wants to hold you in a chokehold, and those kinds of situations. Dexterity, if you see a fireball hurtling towards you and you need to move out of the way to not take the full brunt of the damage. Constitution if you're being hit by poisonous gas and trying not to inhale and how your body reacts to it. Essentially, it's the types of defenses that your physical armor, or AC, would not be able to protect you from. A bonus action is a smaller action your character can take, usually involving smaller abilities or spells. They are less common and have more restricted uses than a normal action. Movement equals to how far your character can move. 
As previously mentioned, most classes have a speed of 30. On a D&D battle map, each square represents 5 feet of movement, meaning most characters can move regularly 6 squares before not being able to move that turn. Certain circumstances can make you able to move less, like difficult terrain, sl slippery slopes, climbing, having to move through rubble, and those kinds of scenarios. You can also interact with objects, meaning pick up a torch, sheath or unsheath your weapon, take out an item from your bag. These actions do not require an action to perform, hence a free action. Proficiency is a bonus for when your character excels at certain actions. You then add this proficiency bonus to your role. Skills are things your character can be trained in and would dramatically change how you play your character. A medicine check, for example, would enable you to verify the body, check for injuries and possible remedies that would help the person that is injured. This covers a good majority of the terms we would need to learn to start creating our characters. There will be other terms and we will explore them as they pop up in our future videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.